Did you like FX's Shogun? Or perhaps you preferred the 1975 critically acclaimed historical fiction novel by James Clavell? Or maybe you've played hundreds of hours of Total War Shogun 1 and 2 and are looking for something different? Well, today I have a mod just for you. This is Shogunate, a feudal Japanese total conversion mod for Crusader Kings 3 that allows players to play from a time period of 1180 or the Genpai War to 1614 in the Siege of Osaka. It is a sprawling, epic total conversion mod that I've been meaning to talk about here on the channel for a while, and I'm going to do that today. And we're just going to jump around and basically talk about some of the start dates, or just show you the wide variety of them, and hopefully get you excited to give this mod a try. So I think the first thing that I really like about the mod, and I want to point this out, is the historical context that it gives for each of these periods, because I don't know about you guys, but I'm not that familiar with Japanese history outside of maybe like Nobunaga, Tokugawa, people like this, like I'm familiar with this part of history, probably because they unified Japan and it's like a big deal. But as far as this older Japanese history, like the 1100s, the 1300s, this is something that I wouldn't have any context for. So when I see the Genpei War, the year is 1180, and then it tells you all of this stuff, it gives me a reason to maybe want to explore that history a little bit more and also to just examine it on a deeper level and then get excited about playing as these various historical characters, which I think is really cool and I think encourages people to look into this you know, a little bit deeper. Also, just the fact that you can now play in Japan in a mod is really cool. Somebody recently did a sub mod where you can play in Korea as well. Um, I'm not sure how that plays with some of these start dates, but it looked pretty interesting. Now, the big, the big main one that most people point to and that even the mod itself recommends is this Oda Governance or Oda Government, I believe is what that's called. Um, and it has two recommended start dates, and this is the Tenkafubu and Anti-Nobunaga Coalition. So basically, Nobunaga, if you were, if you'd watched the Shogun show for your, you know, clarification, he is in the show and in the book, but he's a different character. Obviously, the book is a historical fiction. It just takes these events and sort of twists them. Like, Toronaga is Tokugawa. Toronaga is quite young, or Tokugawa, rather, is quite young during this period, so this is his youth when he was helping establish this shogunate um, across Japan. Uh, when you wanted him to be older, that would be more like around the Siege of Osaka. Um, it, it, around the time of the show, it'd probably be around the year 1600, so a little after this, if you were trying to play a little closer to that. But we're just gonna hop in right at the uh, Tenkafubu, and I'll even play as Tokugawa. As you can see, we're in the Sengoku struggle. The weakening of the central government and the following turmoils initiated the Sengoku period. It was a long, drawn-out power struggle between the various daimyo for domination of Japan. You are involved in the Sengoku struggle. As you can see, Japan is at war. Uh, currently, Nobunaga is actually at war with um, you, these people over here. They're attacking Kyoto. And what's interesting about this is that there's various, if I'm not mistaken, there's various decisions that you can do. Yeah, you can like found a new shogun it. There's a whole new court system, which I mean, if I switch to Nobunaga, this will be easier for me to see so I can show you just some of the beautiful assets this mod has as well. The royal court is different. If you're just going into the barbershop, you can see the Japanese throne room, which is really lovely. I, I mean, obviously they have their you know, katana. They have really wonderful armor as well. If we were to just go over here, let's see headgear. And then you'll get a little example of this and then maybe clothes and you can see the various armors it's it's very well done it's also just a cool again a cool period to play as it's it's super important for japanese history and i think this is one of the better sandbox experiences with this his, this history essentially like sort of like the total war series i think this does an excellent job of bringing history into a sandbox experience for people to play around with and mess with and i think it's really cool and also just the fact that it adds so much that's not in the game like you have shintoism which is an entirely different religion from something that you're probably used to in crusader kings um, because if i'm not mistaken this is more about a, a reverence for like spirits and like the inner journey and there's various different spirits that live throughout japan at the various shrines which is really cool but of course the name of the game is going to be the struggle the struggle mechanic is the biggest one if you look at the struggle endings there's a various different ones that you can try to achieve, but most of the time it is going to be trying to establish a shogunate because that's what happened historically. You can challenge yourself too to see if you can try and do it as Nobunaga or Toranaga or Tokugawa, I apologize. I'm thinking of the show Shogun, that's like the context that I think a lot of people will have going into this because the show was really popular, obviously. A lot of decisions for Nobunaga. Nobunaga, of course, eventually assassinated, and then um, there was a period of sort of like intermittent peace for a little while, and then, you know, Tokugawa did what he did. And um, it's it, it's really interesting. A lot of games have covered this time period from like Age of Empires 2 to obviously the Total Wars. And I think that being able to experience it from like the ground level and also just like the, the map itself looks really lovely. It hasn't been updated 
that recently. I think it was April. So it's not updated for the most recent version of the game, but it is playable. I had, I didn't roll this back, so I'm I'm sitting here and you can see it. And if we look at our actual, let's see, let's come over here to the military. Every there's there's custom images now for the men at arms. So you have your busho, you have your ashigaro or your levies, you have your various different ones that you can select which let's just see like these beautiful beautiful little men at arms art you know i'm a big fan of those um obviously our prestige here has the helmet faith has like the temple entrance the coins everything is is sort of changed to a degree i i this is in my opinion one of the better historical total conversion mods it's only fallen off my radar and hasn't been on the channel up until this point purely because this is not a time period that I'm typically like that interested in. As I said, I don't know a lot about Japanese history, so it's not something that I'm super like focused on. Uh, I do plan on reading that book. I know it's not like historically accurate, but it, I enjoyed the show a lot and I probably will look into it a little bit more. But if you wanted something that's not Eurocentric, I, I could not recommend this mod enough. It is incredibly good. Um, unfortunately, it, it looks like its table is still fairly limited and I think you, okay, so we can zoom out. My biggest thing is I would I wish the map was maybe a little bit different on the zoom down, just like a little graphics around it, just to give it a little bit more flavor, because it does feel kind of plain. That's that's like a minor gripe, of course. But if you're somebody who wants to focus on like war and doing struggles and doing historical things, this is a great mod for that. And not to mention the fact that there's so many start dates, so you can, you know, mess around with that. Like if you wanted to go really far back, you could, or if you wanted to, let's just jump here to the Siege of Osaka. So as you can see here, we are in an era of the Tokugawa Shogunate. And if we click on Tokugawa, his nickname is Ogoshu. Um, this is a name unique and special, so others can't easily use it. I don't, I wish I knew more about what it actually meant. So that we are still in the Sengoku struggle, but as you can see, he's got a bit of a rebellion. He's in the middle of the Siege of Osaka. Um, they're, they're just attacking right here. I would assume he wouldn't have too much of a difficult time actually overcoming this, although he actually has quite low troop counts. He has no men in arms, although he is making 70 gold a turn. I don't know when he died specifically, but he's got a ton of stuff. Also, there's obviously new unique lifestyle traits like Dancer. So if we come in here, I just wanted to see if they had any new trees. So they do have different names for some of these, like Shinobi for this tree which makes sense he's 53 above his vassal limit which is crazy that's a lot um he's got a lot of regions that he realistically should be naming as his whatever um i don't know what the outcome of this war was but if you wanted to see like the various things that change and obviously this throne room looks a little differently than the one that we saw before it's got a nice beautiful banner here. I think this is probably one of my favorite aspects of it, that this has been made at all because it's quite beautiful. And you can see some of your courtiers that are visiting your court up here in the front. And uh, yeah, I don't have a whole lot to say other than that. The mod is fairly war focused. So if that's not something that you enjoy, like if you enjoy more like playing tall and like just chilling, I would say this might not be for you. Uh, there's a bunch of new artifacts as well. Like he's got one of the legendary uh, five famous swords. This is another famous sword but apparently this is one of the five, Onimaru Kunitsuna. Uh, just a lot of different stuff to check out and explore in the mod. And with a 400 year gap between the oldest and the latest start date, there's obviously a lot of history to explore. And if something interests you just by reading a description, it could be a cool idea to maybe like start exploring that. But that's gonna be it for me. I just wanted to show off this mod give you an idea of you know what you can do in it um, let, let you know that it exists i'm often so surprised to find out that people aren't aware of a lot of these bigger mods um, purely because you know i assume that everybody's like me and they just want to play as many mods as possible but that's not always the case and i'm happy to be here to be the person to basically help you um, discover that for yourself so as always i'm sold this has been shogunate and i will happily see you in the next one